We're in sunny San Jose, California today. We're here to talk to my friends at SP3. They gave me the keys. Let's go inside and learn about everything you can get a diamond coating on. Hey, welcome. How are hey. you, Arthur? Oh, good. Thanks, Dan. So we're here at SP3. That's right. But how long has this company even been around, man? Oh, uh, well, we started out in 1993. Okay. And, uh, it's a couple and years. It, that's it's quite a few of time. years. Yeah, yeah. So we're heading towards 30 years. Okay. Uh, it's in Santa Clara, California. So beautiful, right? The weather's it, nice. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, it, it, it's here because it, it, the original founders we're part of Silicon Valley. So we are based oh, in Silicon Valley. That's okay. kind of where it comes from. Um, yeah, and, and since 1993, we've been we've been developing CVD process for Diamond, yeah. and not just that, but also different practical applications. What, so. What's over here though? Yeah. What are these things? Yeah, yeah. Uh, those are, this is our reactor build area. Okay. So really interesting. Uh, you'll have a different video with, with Brett uh, our general manager, and he's the one who helped okay. design and build the reactors. So I'm going to uh, get to learn more about them, though. You're going to learn more about them, but they're, these are in different stages of build uh, right now. So as he goes, and you'll see there are different kinds, and we can, we'll talk a little bit about that. Yeah. I'm just happy that I get to learn about it. I get to share it with everyone out there that so they get to learn about what's possible. I, when I first came out here, I was completely amazed by what, what is done here and, and the, the people who, who are here and and the amount of knowledge and uh, and passion they have for for CVD Diamond. Yeah, well, talking about the people here, what kind of people would work for? Like, what is this? Let's yeah. start, let's let's pull it back a little bit. What do you do at SP3? I know we talked to Diamond okay. and stuff like that, but what yep. do you do here? So SP3, the the name refers to uh, the bonding of of Diamond. So that's kind of where okay. the name comes from, SP3. Okay. Uh, and what we do is chemical vapor deposition, diamond coating. Okay. Uh, for various applications. So, you know, people are known, know it for machining, at least in, in our world most of the time, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, the people out there, you might have heard of them call it CVD. Sometimes CVD, they just use the chemical, short form. Yeah, that's what, uh, yeah. it's usually CVD, but if you don't yeah. know, that's chemical vapor deposition. I, I did not know that for a very long okay, time. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and, and people know it for, obviously, for metal cutting with uh, carbon fibers and things yep. like that. Um, but you know, it, it's also used in uh, electrodes for wastewater treatment. Really? Uh, yeah, wastewater treatment. Also for um, also in uh, CMP pad conditioners for semiconductor industry. Oh wow! And mechanical seals for pump applications. I mean, there, there's so many applications for it, and that's yeah. why that's why we we say we've been developing not just the diamond, but also practical applications. Yeah. So, for it so so what are they doing there at the desk right now so these then? this group here they're prepping uh the tools to go through the the initial process because there's an upfront process that we don't talk a lot about yeah to prepare the tools to accept the coating so that it sticks to uh it adheres to the the tungsten carbide okay so they prepare them so they, here at they, this they, desk yep they prepare them here it goes through here, this is our, our wet bench area. Okay. And and this is the wet bench area is where the real prep comes in uh, for for the tool to be ready to be coated. Yeah. And then we then we check it after it goes through here. It comes over to the uh, XRF to make sure that we've got the right amount of surface roughness, uh, that the the right amount of cobalt, everything else that, that so that it's going to have good adhesion. That's. So you've got all the levels to the cleaning, to the full edge preparation, to making sure that edges are properly prepared. If, if you don't go step by step, it yeah. doesn't work. <laughs> oh no, you can't skip a step. No. Even in machining, right? You skip it, a step in your setup, that's it. It's that's kind it, of, that's it's kind done. Of gone. Yep, that's right. And then they right. go into... And then they'll go into, these are, these are older model finished reactors. Yeah. So you saw the initial build and we build our own. Yeah. Um, and then we also sell the reactors too. So. Oh, uh, wow. We build for our own production, and you see they've got these are all running. Yeah. And then, like I said, we also build for commercially sells uh, the reactors. Yeah, and not just for cutting tools. You were saying there's other applications yeah, for the coatings that you do. Right, and a lot of it is uh, a lot of that is is not for cutting tools. Most of our reactors that we sell are actually actually for the semiconductor industry. Oh really? Yeah. So. Well, I guess it makes sense that you're in Sa the Silicon Valley here. Then. That's why. That's kind of <laughs> why it was based here in the, in the first place. So, 
uh, and 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 it's a it's a significant business that's growing in the U.S. and you know we're excited to be a, a part of that. Uh, they, they don't make the chips themselves, but they're used no. to coat CMP pad conditioners and okay. and uh, other other products inside of it. And we've recently started working on internal components in that process as well, where the life uh, of a focus ring it gets etched away yeah. inside of the process. We coat it, and it and the the life of that initial testing is is through the roof. So we're really excited about that portion. I I'm so excited for the people out there to get to learn more, Dan, because, I mean, we kind of touched on it really briefly, but it sounds like there's a lot of applications in the world of manufacturing for diamonds through many different industries yep. that maybe we haven't thought of before. That's, that's, that's the key, and that, that's, from my point of view, I think that's where, where we can differentiate ourselves from yeah. the rest of uh, our competitors, is, is we work very closely with uh, with our customers R and D facilities yep. and our own R and D, and we're, we're part of the Mopal Group now since 2019, and and that helps us process R and D you know packages through. They they give you know you get some expertise from a little bit bigger company, right? Yeah, uh, and that's helped a lot. So now now that we've done the uh, we can process the R and D better. Yep. We work really close with our customers. Make sure that we we do what they need instead of what we want to do. And that, that's where we say practical applications. I don't think we're done with, with diamond coating and what it can be used for. No. Uh, and I, that to me is probably the most exciting part. You're excited, I'm excited. The people out there watching are gonna be excited and we're gonna have to dig in more with a lot of the other experts you got here. Yeah, absolutely, you're gonna, you're gonna meet some fine people when you're this day. Awesome, thanks Dan. Appreciate it, thank you.